Hello everyone, I wanted to announce that there is a contest on the channel for the month of October to win an Atraxa Praetor's Voice Near Mint from Double Masters, 100 standard size card sleeves from Dragon Shield, and a Zendikar Rising pre-release pack. So to win all three of these, um, for each video on the channel, I will take one comment per person and submit it into a drawing. Subscribers at the end of the month also get two entries automatically submitted. I'll announce the winner at the end of October, so thank you all for the support and good luck. Hey everyone, welcome to Mythic Pursuit. Today we're going to change things up. We have... A gift edition Throne of Eldraine bundle. So let's flip it over and see what's inside. Enjoy the royal treatment. It comes with a special oversized gift edition spin life counter, 20 premium foil, and 20 regular basic lands, 10 15 card Throne of Eldraine booster packs, plus a Throne of Eldraine collector booster, the special foil gift edition card box and an alternative art premium foil Piper of the Swarm card. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we got inside. I played more Arena with Throne of Eldraine than Paper, so this is my first product opening. Um, so I'm not sure about how the prices stand and everything like that right now, but I thought it was really cool. And GameStop had it on sale for less than $40. So I picked it up. And let's just see what's inside. What we can get out of it. Love the foil on that. That's awesome. So looks like it just slides out. Got a little don't steal thing. Um, anything else in here? Oh, what's that? little child and hey a knight that's cool a little art piece if you want to hang that up and I don't think this thing has anything inside nope okay then we have this look at that foil I love that okay there is our Piper of the Swarm but look at that it's already warped I guess the foils are in there, the lands. What's this? Yeah, just it's online stuff. Um, but there's your regular, and these are the foils, but yeah, they're already warped. That kind of sucks. Hopefully they can fix that in the future. I hate the foils being warped like that, but nonetheless, still really cool. Art on that. Get the Piper of the Swarm for free. So set those aside. Don't really need to open those. And here, oh wait, look at the die. That is cool. An eight, below average, okay. Um, all right, so let's take all this out and we'll set this aside too. Okay. So we have a collector booster and it looks like 10 regular booster packs, so. Let's clear all this space out and open them up. We'll start with the regulars and then save the best one for last. Okay. I don't know. Looks like the, yeah, so it goes. The rares are in the back on this one. Okay. Really like this set. Some of the mythics are great in here. If we can pull them. Oh, Fires of Invention, broken card, really good rare, and a regular planes. And the food, food token, very uh, unique set to say the least. Pack number two. Okay. Crystal Slipper. Go to the uncommons. Okay. And Grumgoli the Generous. So uncommon legendary 
Could make a commander deck out of that. I've seen it a couple times. Pretty cool. Escape to the Wilds. Play additional lanes, turn, exile top five cards your library. You may play cards, exile this way until the end of the turn. Eh, not great, but still could fit in a cool deck, I'm sure. An outflank foil in a swamp. Cool. Pack number three. Skip through pretty quickly. Fave Wishes has the Adventure, the Fairy Wizard, 2414 Flyer, Pay 2, discard two cards, return Fave Wishes to its owner's hand. So you can bounce it back and then granted, so four for the Adventure, it's a sorcery, you may choose a non creature card you own from outside the game, reveal it and put it in your hand. And not that great, but the rare and oh look at that island I love that art it's like a wishing well or something and another food all right spoiled to the zendikar lands the full art seeing a regular one's like whoa all right Quirk. oh look at that Murderous Rider, alternate art. That is amazing. Look at that. Murderous Rider is a great card too. You have the Swift End, Instant, Destroy Spell, and then you have a 2-3 Zombie with Life Link. And whenever it dies, you put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Awesome Zombie there. That is really cool alternate art. Glad we pulled that. In a Foil Mountain. It's different. The Plains. And an adventure card. Awesome. So we got a, a decent rare there. Didn't know if we were going to pull anything great out of these. Return of the Wild Speaker. I love this card in Commander. If you have green, you normally want to try and uh, put it in there, especially if you're. Uh, if you have some big, big uh, non-human creatures. So five for an instant. Choose one. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Really dynamic card. Um, like it a lot. So mountain and card in the back. Okay. I haven't gotten any mythics yet, though. So let's see what we get. Shepherd of the Flock. It's uncommon. Love the art on that. Not all heroes carry swords. It's a neat card. Lucky Clover. Wintermore Commander. An acclaimed contender. Human Knight. It's a decent rare. And Island. With the Human Warrior token. The back. Let's see if we can hit a mythic out of these. Valmire Knight. I love playing this um, in Arena. Really flexible card. You get a 1 1 Zombie Knight with Death Touch. Or for 3, it's an instant. You draw a card and lose one life. So love that. And the alternate art is amazing. Um, Witch's Oven. Another broken card. And a Feasting Troll King. Look at all that green mana. If you need devotion. He will definitely give it to you. Uh, then you have the swap. Okay, three packs left. And then we'll open the collector booster after that. These packs are harder to open. Try the other side. There we go. Whew. Bone Crusher Giant, another great adventure card. 
sees a lot of play. Uh, you have the stomp for two. Damage can't pre be prevented this turn. Deals two damage to any target. And whenever Bone Crusher Giant becomes the target of a spell, Bone Crusher Giant deals two damage to that spell's controller. And it's a 4-3 for three, so awesome giant card. And a foil forest. Cool. With another forest. And adventure. I think the Great Henge is still the most expensive card, so hopefully we can get one of those. Cauldron Familiar, Band, and Ayara, First of Lockwain. Love this, the Black Devotion deck. Um, she's also a really cool commander. So really cool Elf Noble, Island, and nothing. Okay, last pack to open. Can we hit a mythic out of this last one? Fairy Vandal. Actually put this in my uh, rogue commander deck and it's on my uh, channel if you guys want to check it out. Pretty cool uh, deck tech. Uh, all that glitters. Cauldron Familiar and Castle Garenbrig. One of those lands that gives you more, so really like that. And an Arcanus Owl foil and a mountain. And another human warrior. Okay, so that's it for the regular packs, and we will move on to the collector pack. See what we get inside. Okay, a bartered cow. A Rose Thorn Acolyte. I'm gonna take some time on this alternate art just because I really appreciate it. It looks amazing foil. Steel Gaze Griffin, Brimstone, Trebuchet, Garenbrick Carver, Frogify, Savvy Hunter, love that art. Shepherd of the Flock, Epic Downfall, Oko, Thief of Crowns. If this was standard. It'd be crazy, but that's still a great hit with the extended art. Look at that. Wow, Oko. Broken, broken card. Definitely will fit in one of my commander decks, though. I love that. Okay, then we have an Ardenvale Tactician. Common alternate art. Love that. What is that? A knight riding a griffin? That's cool. A Merchant of the Veil. Adventure card. Silverwing squad Squadron for the rare. And an Oath Sworn Knight alternate art. That is cool. And a Lockmere Serpent foil. And a little mouse with the food. Well, the Oko was definitely the hit here. Broken card. Love it in Commander. So, like I said, it'll go in one of my decks for sure. Um, but yeah, that's the, the whole thing. Um, not bad for the price point, less than 40 bucks um, after shipping and tax and everything. So try to pick one up online at GameStop if you guys can while the sale's still going. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.